Russian forces continue to pay a record price in personnel and equipment losses amid Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to figures by Kiev. Russia has suffered record losses of personnel, armored vehicles and artillery systems, Ukraine's defense ministry said. According to the report, the total loss of armored fighting vehicles equipment since the start of the war to 18,450. Newsweek says that Kyiv's figures for October claim that Russia had lost 903 of the vehicles, which is the highest monthly total since February 2022, beating the previous record of 889 recorded in March 2022 at the start of the war. Ukraine also said that Russian forces lost 27,840 cars and cisterns. Drilling down into these numbers for October showed that over the last month, there were record losses of this equipment of 2,340, beating the previous high of 2,103 in July. Ukraine's estimate of Russia's artillery systems has also surpassed the milestone of 20,000, reaching 20,013. Meanwhile, on the metric of troop losses, which includes those both killed and injured, Russia continues to pay a huge cost in personnel, according to Kyiv. It said that there were 693,640 Russian casualties, the total, during the war. The monthly tally for October reached 40,520, the highest of Putin's full-scale invasion, beating the previous record of 38,940 in May this year. Ukraine says its figures are approximate. Getting an accurate number for Russian losses is difficult, with neither side publicizing the toll in personnel or equipment in the war. Russia has not updated its official figure of troop losses since September 2022, when it said that just under 6,000 soldiers had died. Russian forces are making incremental gains in Donetsk, but they rely on infantry-heavy assaults that generate high numbers of casualties in what are dubbed meat grinder tactics. The chief of the defense staff, for the British Army, Admiral Tony Radikin said in July it would take five years to replenish the Russian army to where it was before the start of the war, according to Newsweek. Horrific losses of the Russian army is making it harder for Putin to continue the war. However, Moscow is reportedly able to call on around 30,000 new recruits each month. Also, its force numbers will be boosted by North Korean troops, around 10,000 of whom will be sent to Russia to fight, according to the Pentagon. Russian army has attempted to launch another attack on the country's Kursk region, where the Ukrainian troops launched incursion around three months ago. Russian soldiers advancing with armored personnel carriers were forced to retreat after facing serious resistance from Ukrainian fighters. The Ukrainian fighters, who were positioned in the forest strip, targeted Russians with various weapons and kamikaze drones. As a result, the Russian soldiers, who lost manpower and equipment, retreated. One of the armored vehicles of the retreating Russians was abandoned on the battlefield. The Russian military command wants to form assault units with convicts suffering from hepatitis B and C. They will be sent for meat assaults in Ukraine, according to Ukrainian defense intelligence. 
According to intelligence sources, the Russian Ministry of Defense issued Order No. 610, dated October 10, 2024. This order removes hepatitis C from the list of diseases that disqualify individuals from military service. The Russians did this to fill units with sick convicts. Those infected with hepatitis are marked in the document as Contingent C. It is noted that before being sent to the front, the sick prisoners in colonies must formally receive the hepatitis B vaccine and undergo antiviral therapy for hepatitis C. According to estimates by Russian leaders, their new mobilization decision will allow them to involve thousands of convicts in meat assaults in the war against Ukraine, the intelligence writes. According to Ukrainian intelligence, there are about 10,000 hepatitis patients in prisons and detention centers in the so-called Central Military District of the Russian Armed Forces. Of these, about 15% have agreed to fight voluntarily. The first four assault companies and two reserve companies made up of sick convicts are being formed in the 1,435th and 1,437th motorized rifle regiments. The newly formed Russian assault companies B to C, named after the hepatitis types, are planned to be stationed in the temporarily occupied territories of the Luhansk and Donetsk regions. Russia began actively sending convicts to fight against Ukraine in 2022. Initially, this recruitment was carried out by the Wagner private military company and later by the Russian Ministry of Defense. Previously, prisoners were promised pardons, but now only conditional releases are offered and the term of service has increased to the end of the special military operation. In October 2023, Russia recorded a drastic decline in the number of prisoners, which is attributed to their deployment in the war. Moreover, it was recently reported that the convicts recruited by the Russian Ministry of Defense are dying at the front, two months after being sent to the front line. Cool,